Hi there, I'm Mike, and I'm trying something just a little different here. It is because it's super late at night and I just can't be bothered to set up my video, but there is Star Wars The Black Series news and it's probably the last news of 2019 and I certainly wanted to make a video for it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's currently happening in Star Wars The Black Series and then what's going to happen in 2020. First of all, for those that care, currently hitting the shelves is Wave 23, which contains Jenna from The Rise of Skywalker, as well as a First Order Jet Trooper. Next, we have figure number 100, Yavin Ceremony, Luke Skywalker. I mean, uh, Luke Squalker? I mean, Luke Skywalker, but his name is misspelled twice on the box for some reason. We also have Wedge and Cara Dune from The Mandalorian rounding out this wave. Also hitting shelves currently are some exclusive figures. First, we have Clone Commander Obi-Wan Kenobi currently popping up at Walgreens. Best Buy released their IG-11 from The Mandalorian on 11.1. This is basically a repainted IG-88, but with some extra accessories. Next on the 15th of November, we're gonna be having GameStop's exclusive Purge Stormtrooper. Also on the 15th, Target will be releasing their exclusive C-3PO with Babu Frick from The Rise of Skywalker. This will have Chewbacca's Bandolier and Bowcaster, as well as color-changing eyes. Also sometime in November or December, we're still getting the Walmart exclusive Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, as well as the Force Ghost Yoda, which is also a Walmart exclusive. Also coming out in December, we're getting the two pack from Amazon with Chewbacca and C-3PO, where the C-3PO comes apart, and I'm very excited for that. Everyone and their mom who has a Black Series shop put the European exclusive Luke Skywalker up for pre-order. He should be out by the end of this month or beginning of next month. But it's basically just the Yavin Luke, but with maybe his name spelled right on the box, and as well as a ton of accessories. Some of the accessories should have come with the Tatooine Luke a long time ago, but didn't. And one accessory is a blaster effect accessory, one I've wanted in the Black Series line for a long time that I'm very excited for. So that's what's currently happening in the Black Series line. Over the weekend, we had a bunch of new figures being announced for 2020. First up, we have two figures that are coming out in March of 2020. We're finally getting our very first six inch scaled Knight of Ren. He looks good, but he also looks like he might not have double articulated knees, but he might, it's really hard to tell. These guys have been on my want list since The Force Awakens. They all look fantastic and I really hope we get more over time. Next we have Carrie Russell's character, Zori Bliss. I don't really know anything about her yet, but I definitely know I want her. She looks like the result of the Rocketeer having a baby with Boba Fett and I'm all about it. Next we've got six more figures announced that come out May of 2020. These are also being followed up by a slight price increase in the Black Series line. It's going up to $21.49 instead of $19.99. First, we have Episode 2 Anakin Skywalker. This looks to be mostly the same body as Episode 3 Anakin, but with a very decent head sculpt and a non-robot arm. It would be cool if this came with a detachable arm and maybe an alternate robot hand for some awkward hand-holding with Padme. He also really should come with a robe. Next up, we have his counterpart, Episode 2 Jesus Kenobi. Again, this looks like a reused body, but with an incredible head sculpt, but missing a very necessary robe. It can be argued that Anakin never really wore one in Episode 2, but Obi-Wan Kenobi sure did. On top of those two Episode 2 staples, we're also getting some other alien Jedi. First, we're getting the squid-headed, naughty Nautilus himself, Kit Fisto. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed he doesn't have a smiley face head sculpt. That was a pretty iconic scene in Episode 2. I'd also like to see him come with a robe or some sort of force or laser effect to go with the lightsaber blade, kind of like the one that comes with the exclusive Luke Skywalker. Next, we also have my favorite Jedi boy from Jedi Power Battles, Plo Koon. Plo actually comes with his robe, which is nice. Reports have it that both Kit Fisto and Plo Koon come with lightsabers that came with General Grievous. I'm not sure if that's actually accurate, and I don't really have an opinion on it. I'm just letting you know that's what I've seen. Nextly, we got announced the Genosian Battle Droid. It's basically just a regular battle droid that's been differently colored. But honestly, I'll take any excuse to put more battle droids on my shelf. Currently, I have about eight clone troopers for every battle droid in my collection, so the Separatist side has been sorely lacking in droid power. And lastly, the figure that everyone has been waiting for, the guy that's been on every wish list I've ever made on my channel, we're finally getting a Count Dooku, and he looks amazing. He's got a soft goods cape, 
a great likeness to Christopher Lee and his iconic lightsaber, but also what looks to be some sort of lightsaber blade effect to make it look like it's being slashed. It's something I didn't expect to see in the 6 inch black series line, but I'm very much looking forward to this and hoping that Hasbro releases more things like this in the line in the future. I do wish he could have come with force lightning hands like the ones that came with the Emperor, but I'm not going to let that deter me from enjoying what could be the best figure in the entire line. I'm also going to take solace in knowing that if I wanted to, I could remove his hands and head because that's just something you can do with Star Wars figures from the Black Series line in general. And with that, that's all the Black Series news. If there is any more in 2019, be sure that I will make another video for it. So thanks for watching and thanks for getting this far. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreons here on the screen for supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. But if you don't want to put any money down, if you look down in the downstairs area, there are a couple different ways that you can support my channel if you want to, up to and including liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Any of that stuff really goes a long way to help out my channel. And seriously, Thanks so much for getting this far, and I'll see you later. Bye.